As part of World War II's Lend-Lease Act, Soviet pilots began landing at Ladd Field September 24, 1942 to take over American airplanes. So Laurel, what did folks in Fairbanks think of these foreigners mingling among them? Well, they were pretty surprised to be greeted with Privyet instead of hello in the local shops. And then they noticed these Russian officers were buying up all the nylons, chocolates, and other luxury items to take back home to their loved ones. But over time, they got used to seeing these Russians in their strange uniforms. And although shrouded in secrecy, Ladd Field, east of Fairbanks, soon became a hub of Soviet activity between the Russians and the United States. It sounds like this Ladd Field area played a big role in World War II. It was a vital link in a secret mission to transfer American-made airplanes to the Soviet front. Ladd Field became the central point for the transferring of those planes. Now the countries had agreed that American pilots would fly the planes from uh, manufacturing plants to Great Falls, Montana, where the Alaska Wing would make any modifications that might be necessary for them. And then, with uh, Canada's permission, American pilots, many of whom were women, flew the planes across 1,900 miles of the Northwest Staging Route through Western Canada, which went through Edmonton, uh, Fort Nelson, Whitehorse, and then eventually on into the interior of Alaska. Is that where the Russians took over flying the planes to Russia? Russians then, yes, flew these fighter planes uh, from Fairbanks to Galena on up into Nome, which is more than 400 mile distance. Um, but the distances between fuel stops were even greater in Siberia. But it didn't take long for this program to really start humming along with the transfer of planes, and more than 300 Russians were stationed at Ladd Field. How many planes did Americans hand over to the Soviets? Between September 1942 and September 1945, American crews turned over almost 8,000 aircraft to the Russian crews. But more than any other operation, the Lend-Lease activities brought international recognition to Ladfield and to Fairbanks. And then in 1961, Wilbur M. Brucker, who was the Secretary of the Army, dedicated Ladfield as Fort John M. Wainwright in honor of a World War II hero in the Baton.